Hey, you guys. Hello, hello. I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're going to attempt to screen share <laughs> and um, review some Shani and Rev clips. Um, I have to be honest today, I am in a lot of pain. Um, I have degenerative disc disease and a rod in my spine, so it's so crazy, you guys. Hi, Laura. Hi, Jay. It's so crazy. Yesterday, I was at the mall, and I sat on one of those massage chairs. And, you know, you put the dollar in for like three minutes. I think it messed up my back. So I'm going to try to be high energy and woohoo, but I'm, I'm just in a little pain. <laughs> but um, a lot of you have been asking for like the back history on Shani and Rev. And while I know some, I don't know it all and I haven't seen it all. So I figure some of this stuff we can watch together. Some of the stuff I'm going to be seeing for the first time myself. Um, hi, Erin. Hi, Bestie. How are you? And um, some of the things that's kind of just refreshing my memory and showing you guys like this is the crap that they've done and why they don't deserve um, you to support their habits. Hi, Sherry. How are you? Hello. Hello. So I'm going to. Hi, Phoenix Wine. Hi. <laughs> um, so just to let you guys know, when I'm on StreamYards, I can't see like, you know what, let me go to the video in my own phone and then that way I could see because sometimes like the um, members it, when it shows like, oh, member for three months or member for six months, like it won't show on StreamYards. So hopefully, oh gosh, that's a thumbnail woohoo. Look at where I'm paused at. Oh, you guys can't see it. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to share and tell on myself. I got a good thumbnail scary woohoo moment on myself. <laughs> Um, yeah, Jay, they blew through $700,000, sold their house for $1, and yes, their children um, were taken. And I hope they are somewhere where they are loved and happy and healthy and safe. <laughs> um, hi, your mama knows. How are you? Hello, hello. Hi, Cyber. You made it. Hello. Okay, so I don't remember, to be honest, how I share the screen. So we're just going to try and figure this out. Present, maybe? Share screen. Okay. Um, let me see, you guys. So it should be that way. Okay, but oh no. You guys, I don't remember how the heck to do this. I haven't done this in so long. I think the last time I was doing screen shares was um I know those poor boys. The last time I was doing screen shares is when I was painting, and that was like eight months ago. <laughs> um, so I'm going to try and figure this out. I'm sorry, you guys. And then I wasn't feeling good. I should have figured this out. Hi, Laura, because my back, I should have figured this out before I went live. Um, I am going to try. I'm so sorry, you guys. Don't show these tips again. It's way more than that. Some people have all the luck. I know. Well, I want to share Chrome, but hold on. I'm trying. I think I just, uh, I'm sharing me now. <laughs> all right. I, the only thing I could think of to do is to mute this and pause for a couple seconds and then try and figure this out. I can restart the stream if that's better in a few minutes. Um, maybe I need to have the video up. Hold on. Maybe that, hold on. I may be on to something here. I may be on to something. Oh, that's so weird when I see myself come up on YouTube. Okay. Um, let's see. Well, we're going to watch the crash live first when Shannon goes off the road. Sorry, you guys, if you're coming in, I cannot see you at the moment. <laughs> All right, now let me see if I can share this screen. I might have figured something out. Hi, Bills Mary. Hello, hello. Thank you guys for bearing with me on this. Like I, like I said, I haven't shared a screen since I was painting. So I'm, hi, Blondie. So I'm trying to figure this out. Um, it's good to see everybody. Thank you for being patient with me. Um, I'm going to try this again. Share screen. Okay, here we go. Can you guys see that? Let me see. I think I'm, I'm doing something here. <laughs> 
No, Maggie, um, I've had a stroke, so my speech was affected a little bit. Um, but no, I don't wear Invisalign. Can you guys see this okay? Cyber, you guys can see this? Okay, can you still see me? Hello, hello? And then at the end, you guys, I have a little mini haul from when I got at the mall yesterday. Hi, Jim, how are you? We are reviewing um, Shani and Rev today. So we're going to watch some clips about who they are as a person and why I don't think anybody should be enabling their addictions, their habits. Um, they're just, there's so many other people that you can help during this Christmas time. There's so many kids that don't have gifts this year. There's so many parents trying to figure out how they're going to make Christmas happen. And these two have the nerve to keep coming on and begging for things. Yeah, Maggie, I had a stroke. Yeah. So like you could kind of see it on my face sometimes too. I've seen people like, what's wrong with their face? I had a stroke. So, um, but I'm okay. I'm okay. It was a long time ago um, when I was withdrawing from alcohol. So let me see. This is Crash Live, Shani for Christ Goes Off Road, and it's the channel Notorious Ash 274. Shouldn't be driving here. I know that. Okay. I don't know where to go, though, Shannon. Okay. I really don't know what to do. Okay. Keep going. We have no place to go but forward. I'm just trying to figure out how to fucking get off this. Wow. Why did that make me? I don't know. It's so fucking dangerous. I'm getting motion sickness here. Why are they off-roading? Uh, I'm going to say that that's actually accurate, Zach, because this, why did it take me here? It's only off the highway station completely. Why are they yelling at the kids? Thank you, Phoenix. I'm good, yeah. Sheesh. Please, Jesus, just get on a road. Just be careful. Just be careful. We're beyond that. Let me look at my phone so I could see the chat. Can you move over a little bit more? Thank you. Oh, my God. They screwed up listening to their GPS. Oh, my gosh. That's it. Jason, call the cops. Call the cops. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be laughing, but now call the cops. They're right next to train tracks. I know. Are we on the floor? Get over here. Baby girl. Does anybody care about the kids? Are the kids okay? We got a flat no, Blondie, she doesn't stop. She doesn't stop the stream. Yeah. Call the cops. Call the cops. Get off the stream and you call the cops. What the heck is even happening? Um, she is so weird, Aaron. Oh, really, Sherry? I just pushed that fucking car. Wow. We got a call, Pops. Okay. Are your kids okay? Oh my gosh. Is that the end of this clip? She pushed the car off the side of the road. Oh my gosh. Okay. So <laughs> that's wild. I want to know what they're really on that she can push a whole car off the side of the road. That's what I want to know. Hi, Daria. How are you? I hope no one was hurt too, but it's weird. They don't even like, are the kids okay? <laughs> like, let us know. Jeez. So I know. What are the cops going to do? 
so they got lost from what I've read in the chat, you guys. The, the GPS got them lost? Is that what you guys were saying? And then they just thought it was a good idea to continue off-roading? <laughs> That's wild. I know, she doesn't. Um, there's a clip, you guys. I believe that we're going to be reviewing. I think I saved it to watch right here where it shows how they treat the kids. So um, this isn't something like I don't want to have people's kids on my channel and stuff like that. That's not what we're about. But like I want to show I don't even think it really shows them. But I just want to show who these people really are, you guys. Like it's so important. I know people are like, just don't cover them. Like, why do you give them attention? Because people are still giving them their hard earned money and they're crappy people. And people like that need to be exposed. You know, they prey on people who are vulnerable or really think that, you know, they're doing the good Christian thing because they hide behind religion. And um, let me see. It would be funny if they called the cops and they have some kind of warrant out on them. <laughs> that would be funny. Oh, my gosh. Um, I'm good, city, keeping warm. We have snow here. Oh, you do? I think I'm going to be driving up the mountains to the snow soon. I'm not a snow person. I think I've been to the snow like a few times in my life, maybe, if that. Um, but we really want to show the kids the snow. And um, I'm literally probably going to go in my hamster onesie because it's so warm. So I might vlog me a little bit as a hamster in the snow. <laughs> but I bet this time of year is beautiful in the UK. Um, nope, they don't show the kids after. Okay. Not one time after the accident that was being filmed, the kids that were in the vehicle with them, nothing was said about them, right? My first thing would be to throw the stinking phone, not be on live stream, jump back to where my daughter is and make sure everything's okay, not film whatever, moving a car. Like my first instinct would be I'm flying into the backseat. Is my daughter okay? Um, let's see. Listen to this fact. You never hear Rev nor shanty as the wreck was happening yeah nothing about the kids i think i read that kids love snow they will i think so too i think so too so i got um, my nephews and my daughter beanies yesterday from um cotton on kids i was going to show the little haul and then i have like a bath and body works haul because it was buy three get three free so i got some like christmas gifts for some of my daughters um you know my daughter's dad's side of the family to give gifts um snow here today too really I, th I remember going up and driving up the canyon and going to the snow like just a few times, but like I only remember wanting to be there like a few minutes, like, oh, touching the snow. Okay, I, I could say I did it now because I don't enjoy being freezing, <laughs> like, but um, I think it'll be nice. I think it'll be nice. Um, I will be getting snow. Oh, really? In Oregon? Oregon's so beautiful. I went there once or twice as a kid. And I remember the parks there were like so beautiful. I haven't, I don't really travel you guys much. Um, so like any of the traveling I did do before it was like as a kid, cause my parents made me go. But um, yeah, I don't know. I kind of feel like, I think eventually in my life, like I want, I'll want to travel, but I'm like, I have everything that I want to do around me. And I'm not like a whole go in the car for hours kind of a gal. And I'm definitely not a going up in the sky kind of a gal. So it's like, I don't travel that much, but maybe eventually I should. My daughter travels. It's just me who doesn't. <laughs> You're getting snow next week. Wow. It's also 23 degrees. Oh my gosh. I think last night or the night before it was like 40 something. And that was like, freezing to me like my whole body was like this I had the heater on I was under like 20 blankets <laughs> um okay so let me see I'm gonna look and see what other clips we should see from Shani um if you guys like these reactions where you can actually see me we can do more of these um now that I kind of figured out stream yards or the basics at least I know how to get on and share a screen <laughs> um Okay, let's do the shanty. This is the shanty house tour, I believe. Yes. Okay, hold on. Let me share the screen. And um, this is a video that somebody shared of drag knots. So let's go to present. Hi, Rachel. Toasty 35 in Maine. Oh, my gosh. I hear Maine is so beautiful. Um, let's see. All right. Hopefully, I'll get better at this, you guys. Thank you for hanging in there with me. All right. 
Trigger warning right now, this house is very disgusting. This is how they left their house. If you guys know more history in the chat, feel free to share it um, for the people who are watching for the first time. Um, I definitely wanna dive more into the Shani and Rev story because like I said, I don't know everything. Like I know the basics, um, but I'm very much into exposing them and wanting to share who they really are with everyone. So feel free to share it in the chat. If you guys like these reacts, we will definitely do more of them. Um, let me click on the video, share. Oh, I feel like I feel like a real YouTuber. I'm learning how to share a screen and everything. Look at me go. All right, can you guys see it? I will uh, make the screen bigger. I just wanna double check. Taylor, hi. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Inferno. How are you? Passes around drugs to everyone so they can feel the way Shani does when she's looking at her former house. Oh, gosh. This is really bad, you guys. They left the house disgusting. Um, I couldn't find the original video. That was like, it was so long. But I remember the guy that went into the house, like, was scared to touch anything. I think he was, like, wearing gloves, everything else. He's brave because I wouldn't have even entered into this house. But I wanna share if this clip does show the kids' rooms, like trigger warning right now, it's bad. They let their kids poop and pee in the room from what I understand. Um, the bathroom is disgusting. So maybe don't eat during this clip. <laughs> maybe don't eat. Um, I've seen the house footage before and I was shook. How could people live like that? I don't know, especially with children in the home. Inferno, it's so good to see you here. Thank you. Um, when I was asking for, like, do you guys know what kind of clips I should react to? Inferno was trying to help me out, so I appreciate that very much. Yeah, it's really bad. So um, just type yes if you can see the screen, and off we go. This this clip is, like, almost six minutes. There's also a two-hour stream. We can do, like, half today and half tomorrow or do a part one, part two. Um so, can you guys see me? Maybe I'm. there's a delay in the chat. Not see me, see the... Okay, yes. All right. Here we go. I'm scared. What's up, guys? Right here. Oh, we know. How's things going, guys? Yeah. The garage door at our address is open. Oh, wow. <sighs> They're hoarders. Oh my gosh. Not even sure what any of this is. But it looks like to be blood. What? Dried up quite a bit of it. Uh. Yeah. That's blood. Oh my gosh. God knows how long. That stinks. Oh, that reeks. Oh, Ugh. no. Okay. Yeah, no. See? Yeah, shake, 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 Ooh. old red. Wow. I... And they say oh, they... This is terrible. It's... Oh my gosh. Gross, Wait, I need to pause it for a second. Were they still asking for money at this point for food? All that food wasted? This is a child's bed. Oh gosh. Again, I was paid to come in here and just take a film and get the hell out. So that's what I'm doing. I gotta hold my breath in here because I can smell this is where it's coming from. No. They've left the bathroom lights on and the uh, vent. Um, here. Oh. It's just god awful. Oh. 
Is that where the yeah, guinea pig is that the box. was that for the guinea pig, you guys? Or the cat? Did you see the toilet? Oh my gosh. Look at all this stuff. That was the litter box. Oh no. You couldn't pay me to go in their restroom. No amount in the world would I go into that restroom. Mm -mm. Two boxes, right, Blondie? Microwaves in the bedroom. Yeah, why? I d yeah, but don't show the no, 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 no. That's too much for me. Oh, oh gosh. Everyone saw how disgusting and disarrayed house was when we were trying to get everything out of it that we could. You know that That's not why it was disgusting. Oh my fucking god. Right, Cyber, same. Oh. Yeah, oh, what is that? I don't know what it is. It's something drives people, they didn't pick up the What's in that jar? Did I see bugs? Oh my this is the kids' bathroom. Oh, what? The no, fuck? no, 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 no. I think that's for the guinea pig. It's full of shit. Ugh. Is it done? Don't show the toilet. Don't show the toilet. No. <sighs> Same gal. I could vomit. Chachi's upset too if you hear her barking. I, I want a bar. <sighs> I need to wash down this taste in my mouth. Oh my God. Everyday life, right, Jim? That's wild to me. Imagine how bad it stinks. Okay, Chachi, I know. I'm grossed out, too. Okay. <laughs> Beer? I thought he was sober. Having fun? Oh, I just want to let everyone know the police have been notified of someone breaking into my house. Thanks. Didn't use... What? But weren't they saying, oh, the... The stream, if, you, if you're new to the stream... Okay. Wow. Well, that was disgusting. I definitely don't want to eat anytime soon. Oh, I can't even, I can't, I can't. I, I wish we didn't have to see the toilet. I wish we didn't have to see the bathroom, but can you imagine your children living in that? They had their children living in that, breathing in all that crap, literally crap. And how do you let your, like, Every child is different, and I understand no child is the same, but how do they just leave the child's room like that? I, I understand that I think one of the children has um, some challenges, and um, which I totally understand because my nephew is autistic, and, you know, um, it was very hard to potty train him. I know that my sister went through a heck of a time, but, I mean, I know children – go through things, whatever. But how do you leave a child's room like that? How do you not try and correct it? How do you not try anything at all and just let your child live in that every single day? It's, you're not, or yeah, it's bad. You're not ordering Indian food now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was gonna order Subway, but I don't think that's happening anytime soon. Yeah, it's really, it's really bad. Hi, Modi, go, go on in. I never said that, okay, Shani? 
I know. Why did she? They, didn't they say the garage door was open? Go take whatever you wanted, and then oh, I'm calling on. I'm calling for a reporting for somebody breaking into the house. You literally told people to go get your stuff. They took nothing of the kids. That's so sad. Um, below zero effort. I know. I don't think that that boy has autism. I don't think was ever diagnosed. Oh, so they just said that. Because I know people could be judgmental, like. A lot of people were questioning, why does your, you know, why does your nephew still wear diapers, stuff like that. So I know every child is different. Like we can't say, I can't blame the kid at all. It's Shani. It's Shani. Like if your child's having that problem or going in the bedroom, something is wrong. Something is going on. I'm not a professional, but I would think if a child is going to the bathroom in their bedroom, something is wrong. Like it needs to be addressed, right? <laughs> um. That's what happened. Wow. That's what Rev said in the beginning of the clip. Anyone in Colorado, nothing to do with money or lack thereof, just disgusting behavior, no matter the income. It's, it's so sad. I can't imagine anything having to live in that house, even a rat. I can't even imagine a rat or a mouse having to go into Shani and Rev's house. That was disgusting. Like that's disgusting. Um, apathy. Yeah. Shani's mom said the kids were doing that when they were living with her, too. Do you guys, if I can find it, do you guys want to watch what Shani's mom has to say about her? Um, I could try and find it. There's a longer clip I had saved on here, too. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it really fast. Shani for Christ, because she had some really good insight into everything. Um I remember watching it. I don't remember everything that happened, but I know she really tried. So let's see. Okay, it's about 30 minutes. Do you guys have 30 minutes to hang out and watch it? This is a solid watch. Yeah, I found it. Hi, Tammy. I don't think I said hi to you. Hi. Yeah, Ernie, we're, we're just learning about Shani for Christ, and hopefully we can all spread the message um, if we see somebody that's being <laughs> bamboozled by them, like, hey, these aren't the kind of people you want to give to this Christmas. There's charities, there's children's shelters. Little Birdie, thank you so much. Wow, that was hard to watch. So gross. It gave me anxiety. It makes me want to clean. I know. It kind of made like the, especially the fridge part and the bathroom, you know, that feeling, that ick feeling. I definitely got that too. Thank you so much for the super chat. I got a super chat. I got a super chat. Little Birdie sent me a super chat. Woohoo! I um, totally got the time. Okay, so let's go ahead and watch it. <gasps> Daria, thank you so much for joining. The Breezy Bunch, the Breezy Bunch. That's the way Daria Moon became a member of the Breezy Bunch. Do, 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 do. Thank you so much. Thank you, you guys. Um, excuse me? What the heck? I don't know what that just happened. She's a bad lady. I, what? That is really weird. Okay. Well, anyways, <laughs> let's go ahead and watch this. Um, share screen. Okay. Her mom seems so sweet, too. I, I don't know. Somebody named Ernie. I don't even know what they were talking about. Okay. Let me make sure you guys can see. Covers for her. Wait. Okay. Can we see it? Okay. Oh, Daria, thank you so much for joining. I hope you check out the community post. And there's also members only videos. Um, you think so, Taylor? Yeah, I don't, I don't know the history between Shani and her mom. I mean, other than from what I've seen here, I don't know if maybe she thought it was the only way to reach out. I don't know. We could talk about this. this is Shani's mom. She had a breakdown video for that. All right, let me go to full screen. And um, here we go. Let's see if this thing is working. Hi. All right. Okay, I, I, I wasn't going to do this, but... 
I watched Chris's videos. This is concerning Shani for Christ. I watched Chris's videos and I just think that it's. So Chris is her ex-husband. Am I correct about that? I think. Let me read the chat really fast. I think Chris is Shani's ex-husband. About time that I get my side of the story out for a change. Because I noticed that um, Jason has been making comments about things he doesn't even understand or know about. I'm going to read the chat. But first of all, um, I just want to say to oh Chris God. that. Laura, oh my gosh, thank you so much for the super chat. Thanks for getting us away for a foodie for an evening. I am so happy to help. <laughs> Welcome to Foodie Free Friday, by the way, you guys. Thank you so much for the super chat. I got a super chat. I got a super chat. Laura sent me a super chat. Woohoo! Thank you so much. Um, okay, so I don't have to keep pausing. If anybody asks questions about Shani and you happen to know, um, Shani for Christ, um, I think she... Didn't she get more popular when she, Shane Dawson, I think, shouted out her channel. I believe that's how even I found out about her. Um, she's just an awful woman. So we're going to be learning more about her. And maybe Fridays can be our deep dive day into her, if you guys want, since it's Foodie Free Friday. Because this is interesting to me. Like, I want to know more, too. Um, no, Chris is not their father. Doug is their father. But is Chris her ex-husband? Um, Shani's mom put this out there. Okay. Oh my gosh, Daria, thank you so much for the super chat. I second that, Laura. Thank you, guys. If you like this, every Friday we can, we'll, we'll watch something of Shani for Christ so we can learn more about her together. Thank you so much. I got a super chat. I got a super chat. Daria Moon sent me a super chat. Woohoo! Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, so I'm going to be reading the chat on my phone. Uh, maybe I could text so I don't have to keep pausing it, like if I happen to. Yeah, you screwed up some things, okay. but you were a good father, and I just want you to know that. Um, before you came along, Zachary didn't smile much. I mean, he didn't respond to people, and uh, he really, those boys really loved you. Zachary especially, but Chris is he, it was like the light turned on when you came into his life. And I just want you to know that nobody should ever question what a good father you were. You were a good provider, too. You did the best you could. I mean, I know you don't make that much money, but you did the best you could. And she sat there year after year, getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And bigger. Okay. And, um, wouldn't work. I understand that. But I just needed bigger, to bigger, bigger. thank you for being a part in the boys' lives. Shannon has told you many things. I tried to warn you. Her father and I tried to warn you about her before. But, of course, she wouldn't listen. She was your wife. I understand that. Jason's not going to listen either. He's going to have to find out. The Question. Since Shani's been on YouTube, has she always been like this? Or did she play nice at first? I have a hard time picturing anybody else wanting to be married to Shani other than Jason. So, like, was she different before and she just progressively got worse? Or is this how she's always been and for some reason she could still get Men, I don't know. I'm confused. The hard way. I'll look in the chat for that. But nobody's <laughs> abused Shannon, okay? That is her M.O. She uses that with everybody. She did it with Douglas. She's done it with you. She's done it with her sister, her brothers. Everybody in her life has always treated her this way. And this is why she's so crazy. I mean, it covers for her mental illness. Shani and she her. knows she's mentally ill. And she knows what she's supposed to do to help that mental ill. So Inferno said, um, Shani got worse over time. However, she had issues when she was younger getting men as questionable. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I use that term way too loosely. Um, when they had $750,000, she was completely different. Okay, I was wondering if like she always, like if when she came onto YouTube, she was a mess or she pretended to be a certain way. And then we slowly get got to see who she was. I think I'm just wondering, like, was her first video to YouTube as crazy and disgusting as it is now? Or was it something that just got progressively worse? I don't know. That's the best way I could say it. 
Um, I have to tap out. This just isn't right. React to Shannon. Um, Suzanne, I'm not trying to do anything um, disrespectful. I just want to hear what she has to say. I mean, she did put the video out so people would watch it and know about Shani. Um, so I'm just going to do what I think she wanted to do and watch it and share the message of Shani. Um, but I understand and have a great weekend. Um, Shani, yeah. I've seen pictures of Shani when I'm looking up thumbnails where she looked... Um, like, okay, before, then, like, those pictures versus now, it's wild. And no, I don't think it's just Delta 8. Like, does anybody else think it's just Delta 8? I have a, I have a few ideas of what I think it is. Um, all right, so let's continue to watch. If anybody feels uncomfortable, um, I'm sorry. But I feel like we're doing the right thing by exposing Shani. And if her mom didn't want to expose Shani, she wouldn't have made this video. Um this is good in public. I agree. Illness, but she chooses not to. Right. She chooses not. She chooses to use it as an excuse to do what she does. And I don't have to explain what she does. I mean, she makes these outrageous videos all the time. She's always crying and carrying on and, and always, always, you know, always something negative. Her, yes, <laughs> since she was 16 years old, I don't want to say her entire life because she was a beautiful child. You know, I mean, she really was a very beautiful child and happy girl. What happened? She used to sing and she dreamed of going to Paris and I... You know, this picture in the back of the Eiffel Tower. And that reminds me of Shannon, the little Shannon when my daughter. But something happened along the way. I know what happened. I think you know what happened, Chris, to her. And it wasn't, it was, it, it, it you know... It was unfortunate that all that she went through what she went through um, when she was 16 years old, but it, it somehow changed her. And ever since then, she has blamed everybody else for all the screw ups that she makes in her life. She uses it as an excuse that, except when it comes to. What happened when she was 16 years old? And I'm not going to talk about it here because it was it was traumatic what happened to her. Um, and I have to say, as bad as this sounds, something inside of me tells me that maybe it didn't happen the way she said it happened. But something had to have happened for her to have turned out as she has. She, she has crashed and burned. So about. is she trying to say that something happened, but Shani maybe exaggerated it? Is that what you think? Her, is that what I'm getting from that? Um, hey, Lynn. Hi, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I think we can figure it out, Cyber. So it sounds like her mom believes something happened, but she also believes that Shani may have embellished a bit. Is that the right word or exaggerated? Yeah, Daria, I feel bad for the mom, too. She clearly loves her daughter. It's like, I mean, you know, she said she was a beautiful child and something happened that changed her. Um, she did clearly love her. She looks completely defeated by her. Yes, that's the idea. Okay, Inferno, thank you. Shannon Rev can seem to keep cell phones on and internet. Exactly, Sherry. Of course, they have enough money to keep the phones on for <laughs> so they can e-bag. Every, Every single, single relationship, relationship in her life. life. And I'm, I'm not going to keep this video up for very long. I just want to be able to make my side of the story and make things clear. Okay. Um, she's, she's got, got people like Miss Star and, and a couple of people that, you know, Star? feel really sorry for her. But they don't realize how much she has affected everybody in her life. I mean, every one of her siblings and both of her parents have helped her out over and over and over again. And people get tired. And she walks all over them. She crashes and burns her bridges behind her. This is the last time I am ever 
that my husband and I are ever going to be able to help her again. I mean, she nearly destroyed us during this last day when, when you and her broke up. Um, she's got Jason believing that there was abuse. Um, there was no abuse going on whatsoever. We, we bought her clothes. We bought her makeup. We bought her, um, she got to use her father's car every single day. Hold on. I want to point out, though, there's not just one type of abuse, like just because you're not spanking her or, you know what I mean, disciplining her that way. There's different forms of abuse. Um, I'm going to share a vulnerable moment with me, you know, when I was so drunk all the time and I was an alcoholic and I had to do the very hard thing of temporarily signing over my daughter until I got sober and better, which by the grace of God, I have her back. Um I remember I kept saying to, you know, the to CPS, I was like, but I don't abuse her. And they're like, just because you don't hit her, you know, drinking and neglecting her and choosing a bottle is a form of abuse. And that's honest. Like hitting is not the only form of abuse. And I just want to make that known. So just because they maybe spoiled or rotten didn't mean there wasn't neglect or some type of emotional abuse. Do you guys know what I'm saying? Um. Let me see. Sit at times you have to let whoever go and hopefully they get it together and come back to you because if you don't, you'll destroy your own self. So true. It would be an improvement if Shani had her channel highlight her fighting wild animals for right. What? Oh my gosh. Does she have brothers and sisters? I believe so because she said all of Shani's siblings and everybody have tried to help her. Okay, so let's go ahead and press. Even when, when she wasn't, wasn't working. working. She, she got, got to, to use her father's, father's car and his truck. We, we, had, we got an SUV, SUV that her, her father used at that time. There are many forms. Of so, I mean, she, she had, had a way to work, work but she wanted to lay in bed for months. She, she got, got fired from her first job for making videos on YouTube. What? Okay. <laughs> Oh my God. And she, she knows she's, she's, she had, I gotta blow my nose, I'm sorry. Okay. I feel like crying right now. But she knows that she had to take care of her children. She doesn't do that. She expects everybody else to take care of them. That's, that's her thing. So she got fired from her first job. She laid up in the bed for months doing nothing but drinking alcohol and, oh, wow. and um, crying all the time, making everybody miserable. Mostly what she was crying about was because Jason wasn't fully her boyfriend at the time. This is why I couldn't believe, you know, when they... Hold on, I have to relate for a moment. This is, I do believe Shani still drinks alcohol. When I drank heavily, I was crying all the time. Like everything was such a big deal and a major deal. So I have a moment where I'm relating. I'm like, oh, I remember that. Everything. Like I would cry if like the wind blew this way and a leaf fell and oh, now my life is ruined. Like anything to cry over. Anything. She finally <laughs> did get him. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't believe, believe it when, when she, she finally, finally did. did. But, but, um, she, she said, said that she wanted, wanted him because he was a millionaire. This is the truth. A millionaire. She wanted him because he was a millionaire. She knew she wouldn't have to work anymore. And, and that she could just lay around eating, 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 eating. But she will never be able to give up wanting. Her mom puts those little digs in. Do you guys notice that? And again, this wasn't supposed to be like a reaction calling her out. But I noticed that like she takes these little digs like. And she just kept getting bigger, 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 bigger. And then this one. And she just keeps eating, eating, eating. Like, that's, you know. Do you guys notice that, too? Negative. Um, it's okay. Attention. attention. She, she thrives on negative, negative attention. attention. She, she has, has done this since, since she was 16, 16 years old. old. There, there always has to be some kind of turmoil in her, her life. life. And, and if, if she, she doesn't, doesn't have turmoil, she will create turmoil just, just to get people to feel sorry for her for some reason. And then those people that feel sorry for her, then she craps on them afterwards. And I think a lot of people, a lot of you YouTubers and from the Christian community have experienced that with her. You figured that out. 
the hard, hard way, way. Like, like the rest, rest of us. So, so now, getting back to me and my husband, let me just tell you, while she stayed here, she, she did nothing but sleep in the bed all the time. You know, we did everything we could to provide. I told her, I said, Dad, her, her father had just had his knees replaced. And um, living on blood, he, he, had, he, had, he still... Sorry, I'm for now. I want to read your comment. Mom is a bit rough. However, she also had to deal with Shani. Yeah, I get that too. They didn't let Shani go to the funeral. Really? Um, Taylor said, yeah, she even threw her grandkids under the bus by saying they, yeah, embarrassing dude. I'm just noticing that, like, she seems like the kind of person who gets those digs in where they can, if you know what I mean. And I, I know somebody very much like that. Um, she, she has, and I believe her father passed too. I think there's a video out there of both of them sharing their story, which I would love to watch if you guys want to, we could do that, um, the next Friday. Um, I wonder if they kicked her out of the house. Seems likely. I guess we'll find out. I watched this a long time ago, so I don't remember everything. Um, okay. So you guys, I, if it looks like I'm texting somebody, I'm not. I'm looking at my phone and I'm <laughs> responding in the chat um, because I can't full, see the full video if I'm on the StreamYard screen, so I can't see the chat on here right now. So I'm just kind of looking here and there. Yeah, I would love to watch it with you guys, little birdie. Oh, there is Inferno. Can you send me a link to that um, on Twitter? If there's any specific videos that you guys want to watch together on Fridays about the Shani situation, um, send them to me and we can definitely review them. Still taking blood thinners. I mean, it's only been since October that he had his knees replaced. And the first thing she did when he came home from the hospital is walk right into his knee and didn't say anything about it, went outside to smoke her cigarettes. I could see her doing she that. was mad at me because she couldn't smoke in my house, knowing that I have a heart condition. She had to go outside to smoke. Even though it was my home, you know, I couldn't be around smoke. I can't be around things like that. But she laid up in that room drinking every night. And let me tell you, before we, before she even got settled in, the deal was is that she was going to get a job. And she was going to help out with the utilities because we thank you mods for being on top of um, whatever is going on. Um, okay. Thank you guys. We were paying uh, double the electricity, double our water bill or actually our water bill was more than double at times because the boys in her used to take really long showers and whatnot. So all of our utilities, you know, were costing us extra except for cable, of course, because we kept the Internet on. We don't have cable. We have uh, just Internet and um, to save money. I mean, we're just my husband's 62 years old. He's getting ready to retire. We're just an older couple, you know, going through a lot of health problems right now. But she didn't respect that either. You know, um, she told Jason that all I ever wanted was to get money from her. And it's like, what? yeah, you know what? You have to pay for your way. You can't just expect people to support you for the rest of your life. Well, we couldn't do it. We couldn't financially do it. And it was starting to cripple us. Um, we both have a lot of medical bills. I had two heart surgeries. I had abdominal surgery just before. Daisy Duke said, this is sad. Her mom and dad passed. I hope Shani wakes up and starts being an adult and take care of herself. If not, she's hopeless. I don't think that Shani will change willingly. I think it will have to be either, I don't know. Something big is going to have to happen for her to want to change. Um, oh, Taylor said, mods, give them a chance to explain because things can be taken wrong. I always ask them to explain themselves before I time out and block. Good advice. Um, well, they weren't a hole, but some people aren't. Okay, I have to run. Thanks for this breezy. See y'all later. Bye, Rachel. So every Friday, I guess we'll do this. This is fun. I, I like, I don't think Shani will change either. Um, oh gosh, Shani and her self-diagnosis. <laughs> gosh. It's before Shannon came. And I was rapidly losing weight at the time. I'm a much better now, but I was 
like going down to skin and bones for a while there because I was so sick after my abdominal surgery. I ended up with a, a bacteria and had to go on antibiotics. And I mean, it was just terrible. Meanwhile, putting up with her stuff, Can you imagine? with the crying every night and drinking every night and smoking weed with her kids in the house, terrifying. Can you imagine? Can you imagine living with Shani? I I feel bad. I feel bad for anybody that had to live with her or has to. And when this woman she talks about, she talks about her and her husband what affected, but what about the kids? I noticed that too. It's a lot of me, me, me. Um, Uncle Bill, can you hear me like this? Oh, they can remain blocked. Are they being bad? Sheesh. I guess we're getting some trolls in here tonight, you guys. <laughs> Thank you, mods, for being so on top of it. Um Ima uh, no, I can't imagine. I cannot imagine it. Five that, and then she'd invite people over. Oh no! Um, this one homeless guy. What? And um, she'd invite him over, and all he he was he was actually a meth addict. I know that you didn't do meth, Chris. I'm I'm positive about that. That's not your that's not your thing. This is wild. I'm sorry you had to go through what you had to go through. I really am. Uh, we tried to warn you. I, I couldn't live with Shani either, Rains. Nope. There's no way. I'd go nuts. But you didn't listen. <laughs> but anyway, that's water under the bridge now. I, you know, I don't want to make you feel bad. But you're doing the right thing. It's she time. says all that, but that's water under the bridge now. I don't want to make you feel bad. For you to just move on with your life and just put her aside. As far as Jason goes, he has threatened my husband. He said he threatened a 62-year-old man on blood thinners with two knees just replaced that he'd come over and punch him in the face. And punch him in the face. And now he's <laughs> doing this boxing video like he's going to hit you. I mean, what an asshole. This is a man of God? No. No. You know, the only justice out of this is that Jason's going to find out on his own what she's all about. When somebody gets married, they're supposed to be focused on their husband, their new husband. They're in love. They're supposed to be happy, you know, and she has kids, too. She's supposed to be focusing on them. But no, she's got to make videos about her ex-husband. Eight months after you guys, have been, you've been divorced. I mean, this is just ridiculous. But that's Shannon's MO. This is what Shannon does. And she does it well. She destroyed Doug the same way. Doug and his mother were abusive. His mother, actually her first husband. The okay, so Doug is the father of the kids, right? Oh. Father of her children, because I know a lot of people think that you were... Okay. The boy's a biological father, which he's not. Anyway, the father of her children's mother had uh, multiple myeloma. And she did nothing but make her life a living hell. The woman had to stay in her bedroom all the time. I finally got fed up with it. I'm going to be honest with you. I finally got fed up with it. And I said, this is it. I can't put up with this anymore. I tried to ask her to get things cleaned up. Let me tell you something. Oh, no. My husband gave up the bedroom to sleep in the spare room in a smaller bed. And I slept on the couch downstairs what? the whole time she was here. Why? Why did she do this? So they, they could have the master bedroom. And that master bedroom, a stench started coming out no. of it. And when I opened the door, it was at least two feet deep. No. Full of garbage, food, clothing, God knows what else was in there. Urine. Oh. We found urine in a container. No. Um, and no. William lied about it. And she says, William never lies. Well, William does lie. You're the one who was spanking him because he lied about the urine. But it was spilled all over the floor. No. 
No. It took us weeks to get that. Oh, it's been three months since she's been gone. Maybe more. Well, let's see. It was Christmas Eve when she when she was when the cops got her out. So the cops had to. So the cops had to remove Shani from their house? Oh, my gosh. Cops know us, by the way. The police in Duluth know my husband and I. They know her, too, all too well, because they're constantly had been called, had calls for her in the past. You know, she lost her kids. If it wasn't for Chris, she wouldn't have them. So this situation that happened... Where the kids were taken this last time. There's been more than one time that she's lost her kids. And they keep getting them back just to lose them. Is that, am I understanding this right? I know those poor kids. So this isn't the first time that they've been taken. No, this reminds me of a hoarder's episode. I know, I, I, I didn't need to know about those containers. I've Five times, Taylor said they've been taken five times, you guys. Oh my gosh. Why do they keep giving them back? I hate to say that. I hate to say that because I'm not perfect. I lost my child due to alcoholism, but I got her back. I would hope to God if I kept making mistakes five more times and doing something that I would have to lose, lose her. I would hope that they wouldn't keep putting my child through that. That's like, that's insane to me. That's insane to me. I'm actually really shocked. Five times. Why do they keep, yeah, why do they keep giving them more chances? I mean, I don't think there should be 10 times for the situation to get worse. They're clearly not getting better. They're ready to give the kids back now, but Shani refuses to do a drug test. Gee, I wonder why. Oh, the father is in and out of jail for meth. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. That's insane. Okay, let's watch a um I think we have like 15 minutes left if you guys still want to hang out with me. Those kids right now. And that's the truth. He is telling the truth on that. Now, I don't know why you had that relationship with what's his name's girlfriend there. You know, I don't know why you did that. Maybe but I'm not going to judge you for it. I'm not going to. I mean, you went. She reminds me so much. I've no somebody I know. You did this, this, and that, but I'm not going to judge you. Like, I can't. I can't. Through hell with her. I can't. But, um. True. How much can you take? You're right. Hi, Karma. All I know is, is that her husband has made threats about us. He's even kind of poked a stick in there. He poked the anthill about, what about what your parents did to you? What about your mother? Well, the only thing he heard... Her impersonations are spot on. She really does not was the well. day that she had her headphones on, and I went in and I pulled them off her head, and I pulled her hair a little bit. I didn't like yank it off or anything like that. I she wouldn't listen to me. I was trying to get her to clean that room up. I'm telling you, the stench was horrible. I don't want to know. No one should live like that. And um, she was like, oh, you know, like she usually. Look Her mom's impersonations are the best things I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God, thank you for that laugh. I've been in so much pain today. I need it. I'm going to cry. Uh, um, Gal Charlotte said, maybe just keep it foodie free Friday, but don't box yourself into Shani stuff. Keep it open. This could get depressing week after week. Just a suggestion. Okay, so we'll do part one today and part two next Friday. And then maybe we could switch it up and then go back to Shani. But every Friday, we'll react to something not foodie. So we can definitely switch it up. If you guys want to do a part two, we'll finish this video and then we'll do part two next week. And then we'll, we'll do somebody new from there. Maybe we could watch like funny reactions by, um, I always forget her dang name. The person who does parodies, Cheyenne Jackson, is that it? 
um, it was so childish, but it's like the, <laughs> I've never seen, <laughs> she does really good impersonations. Um, yeah, Fa <laughs> Fruity Friday. <laughs> awesome. Yes, Fridays we'll be reacting to whatever we feel like. That sounds good to me. I, I really hope she does more things like that because that just made my whole day. Like my eye is twitching. She <laughs> does. You see her on the videos. And, and I was, was done, done with it after, after that. that. I, I was, was like, like, that's, that's it. it. You're, You're getting, getting the hell out of here. I'm not putting up with this anymore. I shouldn't have to. My blood pressure was sky high. It took me a good two months to get my blood pressure down after her staying here. Wow. The doctor was even like, don't, you can't do this. You know, I had two heart surgeries. I have a pacemaker defibrillator over here. I have a poor cap over here. You know, I mean. Wow. I'm getting worked up. This is why I didn't want to make this video, but I think I deserve to be able to tell my side of the story too. All this, all, all the rest of this aside, she, she. Hi, Susie. Hello, hello. The, the police came over to the house and they made her leave. Wow. William said that I threatened to kill him. When, when the police, police were over at the house. Did you? And texted his mother that, which was, was it was William being an asshole. Mm -hmm. Being a little asshole. I'm sorry, I'm just going to say it. He was being a little asshole. Just like he did the time he pissed all over the floor in his, gr in his grandfather's room. I was a pediatric nurse for almost 37 years of my life. I would never tell a child I'm going to kill them. I would never do that, especially my grandsons. That doesn't matter. Shannon gets away with saying whatever she wants to people and getting them all riled up and worked up. I mean, hell, even while she was here and she wasn't doing well on getting the noose around Jason's neck, she was flirting with G-Man. Oh, I, I, I remember I remember clearly how she was wanted to be with G-Man. She talked to me about it almost every night. But, but he, he was, was too, too smart, smart for her, thank God. <laughs> he oh, even told her, you need to get out. Sherry, um, I'm not replacing Foodie with Shani. I just, um, I'm interested in watching more about what happened. And so I have, when I do Shani and Red videos, I know more of what I'm talking about. Um, I'm not replacing her. It's just Fridays. I don't really want to react to Foodie. Um, so... We're not going to do Shani every Friday. We can switch it up. I just um, thought we could do a part two next week and then switch it up from there if that's okay. Um, let me see if I missed anything. Yeah, I definitely won't replace Foodie with Shani. I'm going to just still cover everything, like what I'm doing now. It's just Fridays. I don't necessarily want to react to Foodie. Um, I hope that's okay. Let me get a tissue, you guys. I will be right back. Give me two seconds. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Okay. All right. Let's see. G-Man would make her clean or work. She wouldn't. Yeah, she couldn't do that. Brazy is bringing this up to help um, keep it so people find. Exactly. Yeah. I just want more people aware of who they are because I, <laughs> they're scamming everybody to feed their addiction. That's what they're doing, you guys. It's not right. Um. And they hide behind religion and do it. So it's like, I don't know, the more people that know, whatever you give to them is going to drugs, the better, you know? Um, you like different content. Chantel is getting so old. Yeah, 
Yeah, it is. Um, don't bring that upon thyself. Aaron G-Man's got some issues too, besides to say, and he also twists religion to suit his own. Yeah. I see that too. I think they all three do it. Um, okay, so let's see. Um, okay, do you guys want to watch a couple more minutes or should we do end it here and we can do part two next week? I can hang out for a few more minutes if that's okay with you guys. Um, how does she find men? I don't know, Lynn. I don't know. I'm over here getting catfished and Shani could get any man she wants. Like, make that make sense, you know? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Keep going. All right. So we'll finish this and then um, next week we'll watch different clips. It is helpful. That's what I thought too. Her mom explains a lot. And while I do notice her mom's little digs and those little jabs she likes to get in, I think this was important to watch. And um, her mom wanted people to know what's going on. So, um, and the impersonations, I mean, those are something else. Yeah, there's people seriously suffering and like, okay, Shannon does the whole like, I'm in pain, I can't move, send me $20. I have a rod in my spine and I've been having back spasms all day. <laughs> and here I am, like, you know what I mean? Like when you're, if, I'm not saying everybody's pain is equal. I'm just saying, I don't believe she's in pain. That's what I'm saying. I think she uses it as an excuse. Maybe she's in a little bit of pain, like, but no. Um, Keep watching, okay. Let's go, let's. Get out of your mama's house. Okay. Of course, she wasn't going to have that because she had to go get a job and she had to go actually, you know, pay bills. Mm -hmm. She, she didn't want to pay nothing. I asked her for money to help pay. I asked once she gave me $140 with her first job. Okay. And that went towards the heat, the electric, and the water. So I'll split that into three. Okay. Okay. Less than 50, 50 bucks. bucks. Not, Not bad, bad, you know? know? She, she could, could have been paying a lot more in a house that she lived in. And when I think back in hindsight, I should have just, instead of bringing her to our house, I should have just said, Shannon, the house is yours now. Because we actually went, went, my husband and I went over there and cleaned her house Oh, dang. out. Oh, my God. Talk about a mess. The bedroom up in the boys' room. And you get halfway up the steps and you could smell the urine coming out of there. For some reason, they thought it was okay to piss on the floor. Okay? They thought that was okay. And... Maybe she shouldn't have shared that about her grandkids. I mean, we all know anyways because of the house tour, but I don't know. I feel like it's taking digs at Shani, but kind of doing it through the kids. I don't know. But just maybe that part wasn't necessary, if that makes sense. But obviously, I want to say her mom clearly loved her a lot. Her mom sounds like somebody just fed the heck up which my mom got to that point, just fed up. Like <laughs> my mom did take digs at me. Um, I remember in my addiction, but it was just, she was so fed up. Like she was so fed up with me. So like, I get it now. And I think she was trying to strike nerves with me to say things to like, I don't know, but I recognize it. So I think her mom left her beyond what any of us can see. Obviously she gave her, you know, a roof over her head for right at basically for her and her son. She went and cleaned up Shani's house because Shani couldn't do it for herself. She sounds just like somebody just fed the hell up. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and say it like that. Fed the hell up. Um, they could not get to the bathroom. Wow. Yeah, I don't like that she brought that up. Um, it's a den of evil in every house they have. It sounds like it. See why she got to say that about them. Yeah, this is on the internet forever. Yeah, I don't, I don't think she should have said that at all. Um, Shani should have corrected the kids' behavior, right? Shani should be working with the kids. Like, what is going on that they're doing that? Like, I would be taking, if if I was that mom, and I'm not mom shaming, I'm just saying what I simply would do. And I'm a mom who's made a lot of mistakes. I would be going to any therapist that would accept me right away and working <laughs> and working with them, going to the doctor and saying, what can I do? Like, what can we do? Can you give me resources? Can you give me counselors, um, somebody, anybody? 
but it's also possible they did that due to Shani and Rev fighting. That's true. That's true, Inferno. I also see that point. All right, let's go ahead and watch some more of this. And this, I don't like talking like this, by the way. But you're doing but it. But I'm fed up to here. I get it. With all this stuff. And her making videos. And it hurts. It, it, it hurts really bad. It hurts to know that my grandchildren have to live like this. It does. It hurts me real bad because I know my other two grandchildren are living a decent life. They have two parents that love them very much. Again with those digs. <laughs> and they're happy. And the way a kid is supposed to be. I don't. Uh, that's not nice though. She's in the bathroom right down the hall here. Smoking out her hookah or whatever you call it. Smoking out her hookah. Smoking weed. With, with her boys down the hall. hall. William, William told me one day, he said, that's got to stop. He goes, she used to do that when my dad was there talking about you, Chris. He said, but it's got to stop. And he wanted to put a stop to it. And I think the only way he knew how to do it was to try to get out, try to get out of here and make her take responsibility. He's smarter than you think. He's smarter than you think. He, he might, might lie, but he's smart. smart. He, he knew, knew what he was doing. doing. He might lie, but he's smart. Hey, how are you, Sarah Jane? He didn't want to lose her again, either. I mean, the boys really do love her. If she could only just see that, you know, and be satisfied with that. But she's got to have that negative... Uh, that part right there, if only she could be satisfied and if only her voice could be enough, if only that could be enough for her. I remember hearing, and I don't know if this is correct or not, that Rev had to leave the house in order for Shani to get the boys back and she won't kick Rev out. So she's choosing a man over her kids. And it's very sad. Like, why aren't they enough? Why? You know, and that must it, imagine how they feel hearing this. What if they saw this video? Like, uh, I just, I feel so bad for the kids. Like, whew. Um, Inferno said, word, buries his face in what looks like a miniature replica of Mount Fuji to his immediate right. Oh, sorry, my back hurts, you guys. Um, oh, she said it was smoking out of her hookah. That made me laugh so much. Oh my gosh. All right. Could someone give me the cliff notes of who this is? Um, this is Shani's mom. And I don't know if she's making a video for Shani's ex-husband. Basically, she's telling us everything that happened. Um, and it's pretty informative. It's, it's very, we learned a lot. More than I wanted to oh, know. Attention. <laughs> Always. This is negative, negative attention. attention. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, when the police came over to get her out of the house, yes, it was Christmas Eve, but she was screaming and yelling and causing a lot of trouble. She took, um, instead of cleaning the room, she took and she shoved a good portion of it under her father's bed. Wow. Okay. Wow. I mean, my husband works hard we, we don't, don't have the, the greatest house in the world it's, our house is you know over 100 years old but he takes a lot of pride in trying to keep things nice in it you know and uh he didn't deserve that he didn't deserve that at all we didn't do anything she came to us after you left her chris she came to our house and i didn't, didn't know, know what, what to, to do, do because, because the kids. Wait, I have a question. I got a pause. But if I think, I think in hindsight, hindsight I why didn't she just call Chris and talk to him? Did she just upload a video online hoping that Chris was watching and she's talking? To, like, why? It sounds like this could have been a whole phone conversation. I mean, I'm glad it wasn't, but she's just talking to Chris. Like, why didn't she call him? How did this even come about? Like, how did this even happen? Um, 
I know, Reigns. That breaks my heart. I can't imagine how those poor kids feel. Like, and they're old enough to know what's going on. It's not, you know, it's sad. It's sad. All right, let me hit play. I, I should have made, made her stay there, there at, at, at the, the house, house that you guys were renting, renting because oh, it was sent to Chris. She, she could have gotten, gotten a job, job and she'd, she'd probably, probably still be there, there well, until, until she wrote to Jason. Jason. He's, He's going, going to find out. He will find out the hard way. But, but I'll, I'll tell you what, what if he threatens me or my husband again, he, he just needs to know that the D D Duluth Police, Police Department know, know about them. Both of them. We, we have, have it written, written down. down. There's, There's a paper trail. And he better, better watch his step. I have pictures of what the room looked like. I'm not, not going to show them here. Don't. Thank you. But, but I have hung on, on to them, them in case anything else, you know, happens. happens. But, but now, now she's, she's in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. She, she should just go on with her life. She should just go on with her life and stop making these crazy ass videos. And, and trying, trying to get everybody all stirred up and, and, and just expanding the hatred. Isn't this, well, okay. She's married now. She's married to this guy. She's supposed to be focusing on how much they love each other. But she won't do that. It's heartbreaking. This is sad. I felt so bad for her mom. I apologize to my followers or, or um, my subscribers for this video. This is something that had to be done. I'm not going to keep this video up here. And I promise you that I'm going to go back to my garden content. And I'm not going to ever make a video like this again. Because she did. She made a video again. Other than what happened with my daughter, our lives are pretty much normal. Yeah, they're not. But it had to, to be done, done because she won't listen. And I just wanted um, her new husband to know that he needs to stop threatening us. I mean, threatening a 62 year old man who had his knees replaced and has to take blood thinners. And his heart isn't doing too well either. He happens to have AFib. Wow. Same you don't want to know what I think about you right now doing that. You don't want to know. But I can let it go. Because I can take I don't think a little bit of pleasure in the fact that you're going to find out the hard way. Oh. And I'm not going to say I told you so, but you're going to hear it in your head. Oh, wow. Well. But anyway, that's all I got to say. That's my side of the story. That's um, all I got to say. After all that, that's all I got to say. Chris was a really good father. I don't believe he raped her. I don't believe it for one minute. She has lied about this stuff over and over again with other people. Wow. And um, I don't believe he abused her in any way. Okay, maybe you shouldn't be. He's never this. been an abusive person as long as we've known Chris. We've known him for several years. He's never been abusive that I know of. I mean, that you know of, though. I just don't. I mean, it really was when she explained that he raped her, it was so out of character that I was like, this took a wild turn. I wasn't expecting this. It's, you know, is I, everybody I didn't okay? buy it, but I wanted to. I wanted to. Let me just check in on it. Is everybody okay? Because I didn't remember it taking this turn. I don't remember this part of the video at all. Is everybody okay with watching the last few minutes? Um, I don't necessarily agree with what she's saying, and that she should be saying that. You know, saying it didn't happen. Blah blah blah. Um, that part made me very uncomfortable. So that's why I want to make sure is everybody else okay. Cyber, thank you so much for the super chat. Thanks for all you do, Breezy. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for all you do and all the support you give me. I got a super chat. I got a super chat. Cyber sent me a super chat. Woohoo! Thank you so much. Um, so is everybody okay? All right. So we just have a few more minutes of it. Um, 
that I wasn't expecting it to take that turn like one bit. Stay on her side because she's my daughter. She didn't go and, and even um, get a police report on it for like a oh, month or so. She didn't even go to get um, I don't like STD this. checks until several months after that. Okay, so that happens all the time with victims. So I, I really don't like that part at all. Oh, I mean, who's telling? Who's telling the truth here? <clears throat> I mean, this is miserable. I kind of wish I didn't make this video now. Well, but it has to be said. Here so I hope you got the message, Jason and Shannon. Good luck to you. I hope that you get the help that you need, and finally. But it won't be coming from your family anymore. Wow. We've all, we're done. We're through. Just want you to know that. I don't take pleasure in it either. I think it's horrible how things went down. Well, that's sad. You would feel the same way as a mother, or maybe not. Oh. You seem to put yourself before your kids all the time. Right now, Jason's only seeing it, the honeymoon phase. Wow. He'll see what you're really about. Okay, that's it. That's, that's all I got to say. All. Take care, everybody. Okay, well, that, uh, that was interesting. That I wasn't expecting the turn that took, you guys. <laughs> Uh, Twitch needs their own little cows. <laughs> it's sad that she told her that online. Yeah. There's some, I think she's just, I feel she was probably just really, really fed up. But there's some things I definitely don't think that she should have said. Um, I don't like the part of like, well, why did you wait? Why didn't you do this? Like a, a lot of times victims do wait. It's, it's, you know, so I didn't like that part at all. But that was very interesting. Her mom's impersonations should win an award, <laughs> but yeah, it got creepy. The end I could have done without, but um, hi, Shan, how are you? We're actually about to end the stream, but um, every Friday we're gonna do reactions. Um, I feel like this was fun. I don't mind reacting on camera. I think I was more this one, this time like shocked, so it was just, I don't know. I didn't remember a lot of what her mom said. Um, I feel for those kids. I fell for those kids. Um, so next Friday, we're going to do a part two. Um, if there's any clips you want to watch together, go ahead and send them to me. And then um, every Friday after that, we'll switch it up and we'll react to sometimes funny things, sometimes other people like, I don't know, MFW. Um, I don't know. We'll just have a variety. But I love Foodie Free Fridays. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. You love the reactions? I had so much fun doing this. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much to the mods for being here. Thank you, chat, for being here. And thank you, everybody, for the super chats and for the new member. Thank you for joining. All right, you guys, have a beautiful weekend. Um, I don't know. I might react to ALR tonight or Tammy Lemon, like, later tonight. Um, if you guys want to see just, like, a switch up something positive tonight. Um, and then tomorrow I'll see what's going on with Foodie. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I was trying not to like show it too much, but like I have to keep massaging my back. It just, it's not okay. And I regret that dang massage chair. I should have never sat on that thing. Oh my gosh. Um, but I'm going to go lay on a heating pad right now. <laughs> so, okay. You want me to do Tammy Lemon tonight? I would love to do that. I think I saw she went to like a light festival or something. So um, that would be fun to check out. If you guys haven't checked out my Christmas video I put up of the Christmas lights, it's like these mansions all decorated in this one area we found not too far. And it was some of the most beautiful houses I've ever seen. Phoenix, thank you so much for the super sticker. How cute. Thank you. I got a super sticker. I got a super sticker. Phoenix sent me a super sticker. Woohoo. Thank you. Um, yes, she did. Okay, so maybe we'll react to that. I want to see some Christmas lights or a Christmas festival. Um, thank you, everybody, again, for being here. And I hope you like this switch up of what's going on on the channel. Just the variety. I know I feel 
so much better. Um, I don't feel like so negative. So, <laughs> all right, you guys have a beautiful weekend. Bye everybody. Bye.